Alright, this is going to be on Tips and Tricks Part 3. Uh, some of these I talked about, but I'm just going to cover it again anyways. So the first thing you can do is uh, you go to your Me menu here, and you click on this thing. Uh, you can actually change your avatar. They have some by default here, or you can choose your own, doesn't really matter. Anyways, this picture will actually show up in your login screen also. Another thing you can do is uh, change your password really easy. They have it right here. You know, change your password. Not a big deal. And if you click on your clock here and you go to edit, uh, you can click your or add your location. So I add mine in here. And this will actually give you the, the weather reading uh, for that place. So if I click OK. You can edit as many as you want. So let's say you're a person that travels. Um, you can actually, let's say New, New York or something. I don't know. Uh, what is this? Albany? Okay, just add that, whatever. And, uh, oh yeah, you can change your temperature units. If you don't like using Fahrenheit, you can go uh, Celsius or Kelvin, right? Not a big deal. Uh, but you, what you have to do here is that if you have like multiple location, uh, you have to set it as the home uh, for it. And you have this little icon, right? And uh, now you have your reading right here. And I'll say like, um, what is this one? 57 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So there you go. That's uh, how you get that weather up. Okay. Uh, what else is here? Oh, okay. Let's say you have a uh, a window, like a terminal window or whatever window it is, and uh, you have this. Uh, what is it? The maximize button here. If you middle click on it, uh, it'll do this. Okay. Uh, vertically. And if you right click on it, it'll go uh, horizontally. I'm not sure how useful that is, but you know, if something you need to know, that's what you need to know. Okay. Uh, another thing is, if you do something in the terminal, let's say, let's say some common stuff like uh, sudo apt-get update or something, and you want to cancel it because maybe the server hangs or is not doing it. Uh, usually, people click the X button and they they close it. That's really not the way you're supposed to do it. Uh, the way you're supposed to do it is press Control C and it'll cancel it. So let's say if I do a sudo, a sudo app get update here, if I press Control C, I'll stop it right there, right? So that's what you need to know if you ever use the terminal. Uh, but basically that's it for that one. Um, what else is here? Oh yeah, uh, someone told me this a while back. Uh, let's say here, let's say you add an applet. Uh, let me find one here. All right, so we have this fish here, right? We add it uh, up here. Uh, instead of well, make sure it's not locked it, but instead of uh, doing this, like move, click on move and doing this, you can actually um, middle click on it and, and drag it. And there you go. Uh, it was more convenient than going to the menu like this. Uh, so I thought that was pretty convenient. And let's open a folder now. All right. Uh, in here. They have some new stuff uh, what they did here. They have some more views like the history views. Not really that important, but you know, you go like this. You go back. Uh, what else do I have here? Notes. You can write some notes here. Not a big deal. Uh, this other thing they have is emblems view. They didn't have this before, I don't believe. Anyways, what you can do with this is uh, pretty easy to add the emblems to a uh, file that you have. Let's say I want to add it to this one. You just drag it over here, and there you go. You have the little cool thing, and then you have danger. Uh, you know what? To remove it, it was, it was actually kind of more difficult than, than to add it. So this is how you remove it. Properties, and then you go here. That was kind of a waste of time. You know, I wish they had like an easy way to remove it also. But there you go. If you want to do that, uh, let me go back to normal here. All right, so that's that one. And uh, oh yeah, they have th this new thing. Uh, well, it's old, but they have it like uh, by default that you can do now. Uh, it's the dual view, right? Let me see what's the hotkey for this. It says extra pane here, but F3 right here. And now you have the split view here or dual view. And um, yeah, you can you know browse here or you can browse here. Not a big deal. Uh, let's close one of these. So that's that for the, the dual view. And another thing is they changed this. They don't have the text mode anymore. Before you had this little icon here. 
and you can do the text mode but now uh, you you have to use the high key so the high key to do this is control L and there you go you have the text mode again all right otherwise you push escape and you go back to uh, the breadcrumbs of you breadcrumbs that's what they call it I believe and or you can go uh, what was it you hit the slash and there you go you have that one too but uh, that's how it is by default here uh, so that's that and the last thing I want to show is this so let me show you what's the last thing I want to show oh yeah if you go like um, you know you right click on here and you can have um, what's that create documents usually you guys will see only empty file but you can actually add your own template it's really good if you have like you know homework or something and you don't want to fill out your heading again and again always uh, so let me give you an example of that okay let me open Abby Word here and let's say you do like a heading let's see um, uh, okay say like book report or something I don't know let me put this big so you guys can see this but what the hell that was it there you go book report and um, let's say you put your name on it or something let me see here and put your class uh, number two or something whatever all right whatever you get the idea and then you save this sucker uh was it where's the save there you go well uh, let's give it a name was a book report all right and save it it doesn't really matter what uh what documents you have or whatever file you have uh but the idea is this uh if you put this in your was that uh, your template folder let me see here this template folder here right uh, you don't have to have you uh, you know do the heading again or whatever if you put it in there you can always have uh, a quick access um, to make a new uh, you know book report here again and when you open it uh, what is it? there you go you open it you there you go again really quick and easy and you can always use that again and again you know if you want to make a new file so that is the template I really dig that I use that uh, quite a bit and when I'm doing like uh, you know homework or something I don't I don't want to fill out my name again or whatever it is so that's the template and uh, go ahead and go use that and that's it for this one